little project, we're looking at making a profile image. So to start with, I'm going to move my squiggly brackets down a line so that they line up with their corresponding closing bracket. So I'm now going to add into my keynote presentation a bit of a plan for my um, project. So to start with, I'm going to need a person and drag on the person. In my code, that's a simple image with a system name of person dot fill. Now, since this is a system image, again, I can use the font property. change the size of that image, we'll go 100. Next, we're going to draw a circle over top as a bit of a border to my image, to my profile image. Like so. I might even put in a little drop shadow to make it look nice. Done. So back over to my code, I need to determine how I'm going to arrange these um, objects, these views. So this image is one view and my circle will be another view. But again, I'm going to get an error here because I haven't told the code where to place these objects. So. If I'd like them to go next to each other, I'd do a H stack. And inside the squiggly brackets, I'd paste my code. So you can see the circle is next to the image. If I want them above and below each other, a V stack would be used. But in this case, I'd like to use a Z stack. So they're actually on top of each other. Now by default, this is obviously just a black circle. So I have to add a property for stroke. And I'll take the one with line width, color dot black, line width of five. And I need to adjust the size. So the circle will fit exactly into this blue rectangle, which is the frame. By default, this is the maximum size of the available screen. So you can see here that this width is pushed right to the edge. That's because a circle needs to be as wide as it is high, and that's why it's actually fitting to the exact right sizes. So dot frame width 150. And you can see again, it's now fit to that frame of 150 but the maximum height is still only 150 because it's a circle and can't be anything but the same width and height. If I add the shadow, dot shadow, and I've got a few options, I'm going to choose the simplest. The radius of the shadow is how um, wide the shadow will be. I'll go with five to start with, and there's my shadow. So now I have a nice little profile image. If I was to apply this, I would change the system image to the image that the person uploads into my app, but for the time being, the sample image will do.